Burton, Michigan is a Flint suburb that's located just south and east of the city. After a long night of partying at the machine shop off of Dort Highway, I fell asleep in my van and finally woke up the following day at 3.30 in the afternoon. And yeah, I was totally going hard on a Monday night. Yeah. Well, I start the video at Kelly Lake Park, which is near the intersection of Lapeer and Genesee Roads. And to help support my addiction of partying off of Dort Highway, do me a favor, as if you enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell and select yes, so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. Last but not least, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. Alright, so when you're looking at a map, Burton is a city that has a backwards L shape as it borders the city of Flint on the south and east sides. And a quick look at the city's website describes the location of Burton to be in the southeastern portion of Genesee County and about 60 miles north of Detroit. And I guess that isn't wrong, but if I were them, I would describe Burton as being located in central Genesee County and bordering Flint to the east, because, like it or not, Burton is a suburb of Flint. The city's own website even identifies itself as a suburban community, so hard to argue that. But maybe that's them trying to disassociate themselves from Flint? I mean, cities do that, and maybe that's what's happening here, I don't know. But Burton, anyway, is a pretty large city by land area and by Michigan standards when you drive through it. Burton looks more so like a township in most areas than it does a city, as there's no downtown area and there's nothing that comes close to resembling a downtown area unless you consider a large apartment building, a McDonald's and a Meyer, to be a downtown area. Meanwhile, in the distance, what you see here is the GM Davison Road Processing Center, which is at the intersection of Genesee Road and Davison Road. Imagine that. But it's one of only four GM facilities left in Genesee County. General Motors once employed 80,000 workers in the city of Flint alone, and today, the auto manufacturer employs only 7,000 in all of Genesee County. What's even crazier is that General Motors is still the top employer in the county today. Here on the right is the Formar Nature Preserve. This park has been here since 1970, and it seems like a nice area to go and take a hike. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm someone that enjoys having a nice place to go nearby to take a walk through some woods. And if you're a suburban community anywhere in this country, in my mind, there's no excuse to not having something like this somewhere in your city. Anyway, the park is 116 acres, and it's centrally located in Burton. Alright, well now we're going to get out of here and head south on Genesee Road, then we're going to head west on Davison Road. Anyway, Burton is 23 and a half square miles large to be exact, and it's not densely populated by any means, as the city is made up of single family homes with big yards off of the main thoroughfares, with long streets stretching out away from these thoroughfares that feature the same types of homes. And in between these thoroughfares, you have some farm fields and some trees along with some subdivisions, some trailer parks, and other housing additions spread throughout the city. 
The reason why Burton looks like many of these other nearby townships is because until 1972, Burton was a township, so that's how this area was developed early on. That year, the township leaders were successful in incorporating Burton as a city. And if you're curious of where the name Burton comes from, well, once upon a time in 1856, there was a farmer that owned some land here, and his name was John Burton. And that's about all the interesting history that there is to the city of Burton, which is pretty typical when it comes to suburban cities throughout this country. Up here a little ways, you'll see that you have your typical suburban-like shopping area off of a freeway exit. And not only do you have a Walmart for those of you who like to go shopping in your pajamas, but you also have a Dollar Tree and a Kentucky Fried Chicken right outside of it. Yum yum! And to the left, behind some even more amazingly healthy food establishments, is Bentley High School, which I forgot to drive by while filming this video, home to the Bulldogs. Among the most notable alumni is Kyle Kuzma, who currently plays for the Washington Wizards. Most notably, he won an NBA championship while being a part of the 2020 LA Lakers. Kuzma grew up in Flint, and then he attended Schwartz Creek Schools early on in his life before transferring out to Bentley High School to play basketball here. And to the left here is Genesee Christian Junior and Senior High School, home of the Soldiers. So there's actually four school districts that serve the city of Burton and they're all very small. You have the Bentley School District, the Kersley School District, Atherton and Bendel. And Niche.com ranks Bentley schools as a C- overall, Kersley as a B-, Atherton as a C-, and Bendel as a D+. So, while you have a fine variety of options of school districts to choose from in Burton, there's one district that sticks out from the rest, that being Kersley. And if you have a family and are moving to the Flint area and you're looking to live in the eastern side of the region and you really want to be in Burton, try looking in the far northern part of the city and most certainly try to avoid the southern part of Burton where the Bendel School District is located as you'll have a rougher crowd to deal with there. There's also a higher concentration of crime in that area of Burton as well than what you see in other parts of the city and we'll see that area of town later in the video. Here you can see how Burton has trended over the years in terms of population. It seems like Burton's population peaked during the 1970 census at 32,000, and since then, it has slowly gone downhill to where it is today. It seems to follow the same pattern for Genesee County, pretty closely, seeing large drops in population during 1980 and 90. After that, it grows slightly in 2000 before dropping again in 2010 and 2020. Well, today the population is 29,000 and the median household income is $51,000 per year. Only 17% of adults 25 and older hold a bachelor's degree or higher. And the median value of owner-occupied housing units is $104,000, which is a really low number. And the poverty rate is 16%, which is pretty much the same as the rate for Genesee County as a whole. With that said, there are several surrounding cities and townships that have much better looking economic numbers than that, but there are also worse places like Beecher and Flint, and Burton also measures a little bit better than Genesee Charter Township to the north in that matter. When it comes to the crime, you can see that Burton has about double the violent crime rate as the national average with most of the violent crime being assaults, while Burton's property crime rate is right around average. 
You residents in Burton need to stop getting in fights in the drive through line at McDonald's. Gee, people, Big Macs aren't that big of a deal. Come on now. But yes, as you can see, we're just kind of zigzagging around on the main thoroughfares here throughout Burton, and overall, there's not too much to see. Some parts of Burton are a lot more built up than what we've seen so far in this video, and we'll get to those areas later, but for now, it's just cruising through Hilljack territory. To the right is Atherton Junior and Senior High School. Following the Junior and Senior High School building is Atherton Community Elementary, and these three schools make up all of the schools in the Atherton Community Schools. Now, if you've been following along in my Flint series, you'll know that there's a main thoroughfare named Atherton Road that goes east and west through the south side of Flint. The name Atherton comes from an early group of settlers with confusing first names and the last name of Atherton. Originally, they came from Jefferson County, New York to look for new land further west. The Athertons originally settled in the city of Pontiac, which is 30 miles southeast of here, or approximately halfway between Flint and Detroit. After venturing north, they decided to settle in the area of where Atherton Road and Saginaw Street is today, or where the Flint Golf Club is, and that area is now within the Flint city limits. But around that location is where the original Atherton settlement was. This family built Atherton Road, which was the second road to be built in Genesee County after Saginaw Road, and the name of Atherton has hung around here ever since. As we head north on Center Road, it will look more like a city than most other parts of Burton that we've seen so far, as there's a little bit more development here. There's some shopping and a large apartment building up ahead.
And as we're now heading west, this stretch of Lippincott Boulevard serves as the border between Flint and Burton, which means that this area of Burton is less desirable than other parts of the city that we've seen because it's so close to Flint. And the rest of this video will be in the other part of the backwards L shape of Burton. You know, this part. Now, if you're someone who's been following along in my Flint video series, where I went through the entire city of Flint through a series of nine videos, you might remember seeing an abandoned Section 8 housing complex in what was my seventh video in the series. Well, it might not look like it, but that abandoned public housing complex is not far from here, and sitting directly behind these houses to the right is a separate public housing complex known as Evergreen Regency which is known for having a seriously high amount of crime, the same kind of reputation that the now abandoned Atherton East used to have when it was still active. And of course, if you didn't catch on, Evergreen Regency and the abandoned Atherton East are in Flint, not Burton, for whatever that's worth. But yes, for more on that, go ahead and navigate down below to my Flint playlist, and it is video seven where you can find out more about that. You can see that this area of Burton looks a lot like what the southeast area of Flint looks like, as it's a industrialized area with some houses spread throughout. Meanwhile, if you recall earlier in the video when I talked about the school districts in Burton, how there are four of them, and how there was one that was worse than the rest, that being the Bendel School District. Well, that's where we are. We are in the Bendel School District.
And Dort Highway through Burton looks a lot like what Dort Highway looks like going through Flint. To the right is the abandoned Southmore Golf Club. The course has been out of business since 2018, and today, it's just another abandoned site along Dort Highway. And here we're going west along Maple Avenue, which serves as the border between Burton and Grand Blanc Township to the south. And Grand Blanc might be the most desirable area to live in all of this region. You can expect a video on Grand Blanc in the near future. And now we're heading north on Saginaw Road, which is practically the main north and south thoroughfare throughout the Flint region.
And in case you're like this person and you have doubts that we're actually in Burton, here's a water tower that tells you that we're in Burton. I mean, if that doesn't do it for you, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I ended up driving around Burton just a little bit more, and if you want to see the extra footage of me driving around Burton, which isn't all that much, but if you're one of those who like to leave comments and say, there's a lot of parts of this town that you left out, you didn't go everywhere in this city, well, go on and head down and enjoy yourself, knock yourself out and watch that video, it will be on my second channel and the link is down below for that. And if you like just seeing driving around footage and you like the extra stuff, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to my second channel to see everywhere that I go. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as doing all of those things helps these videos destroy the evil monster that is the YouTube algorithm. Also make sure to hit that notification bell and select yes, so that you can be notified every time that I upload a new video. If you enjoyed this video, then you might enjoy checking out some of the featured playlists on this channel. Videos with amazing insights on other places like what you saw here can be found in my Flint playlist or in my Michigan playlist. Last but not least, if you can't get enough of me on here, you can always go follow me on my other social media accounts, and those links are below. We'll see you next time. Peace.